I'm Amanda Ferguson in Toronto's West End. Just down the street from where I'm standing right now is a nondescript house that provides shelter for refugee claimants looking to make a home here in Canada. That shelter and all other shelters in the city now facing enormous pressure. The mayor announcing today that refugee claimants are now arriving at Toronto shelters at an alarming rate, an average of 10 people every single day. I'm reiterating today my urgent request to provincial and federal governments to take immediate action to relieve the City of Toronto of this pressure and help find accommodation for these families. Toronto's claim as a sanctuary city is now being put to a very public test. The city is now seeing unprecedented numbers of refugee claimants at its already stressed homeless shelters. 334 claimants showing up at Toronto shelters in the last three weeks alone. Refugees now making up 40% of all users. By November of this year, if the trend continues, the city projects that refugees will represent 53.6% of our shelter system, more than half. We cannot and should not be doing this alone. Toronto is not alone in calling for aid. Just last month, Quebec did the same. The province seeing more than 7,000 asylum seekers crossing its borders since January, three times more than the year before. In both Montreal and Toronto, the majority of refugee claimants are Nigerian by the way of the United States. Migrants arriving in Canada who have recently been issued U.S. travel visas. Not even on this list yet. Not even. City News witnessed refugees' desire to enter Canada firsthand here at this Buffalo shelter specially designed to house those looking to make a life north of the border. This old school features dorms as well as staff who help claimants navigate the system. By international law, we have an obligation to protect those who are whose lives are in danger, and so we have to find a, a, you know a place we have to accommodate. Dr. Anna Banerjee created a health clinic for immigrant and refugee children. She says there are multiple factors pushing families to Toronto. There's a female genital cuttings. For for some people, they don't want their kids, um, their their female child, to undergo such a procedure. There's Boko Haram. There's there's violence, there's poverty. Canada is now working with its American counterparts to try to stop Nigerian travelers to the United States from using their U.S. visas as a ticket to Canada. But for now, Toronto's mayor is asking for help. The city estimates the cost to house and support the claimants will cost more than $64 million. It is an issue in the sense that we have an overall responsibility uh, to shelter people who are in need of shelter, but that we're uh, trying to get some help from the other governments. The mayor saying today at the current rate of arrivals, the city may need to open an emergency reception centre to accommodate all those families within seven days. And he says if help doesn't come soon, he says turning community centres into refugee shelters, all well, that may be the only option. Amanda Ferguson, City News.